recording? Awesome. Hello everybody and welcome back to another How to Play as in Heroes of the Storm. Now, it's been a long time in coming. It really has been. But finally, 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 we're going to get to play as freaking Diablo, the Lord of Terror. He is an aggressive ability-driven hero that charges his enemies and uses fire and lightning to burn them down. Gathers the souls of fallen enemies to use for resurrection. In other words, he can come back to life a lot faster than most other people or characters in this game can. But there's one more thing I want to do really quick. And although your comment disappeared from one of my videos, Ren and Wygard, I thank you for your criticism. Uh, if you posted on my how to play as Brightwing and you're telling me how my commentary was kind of bad and I admit that it was. I was still new to the YouTubing experience and looking back on it, I made a hate video about that character instead of a how to play as. So in light of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on future commentaries. I'm going to strictly keep it professional and videos that can use some revision? I'll go back and do later, and Brightwing will be the first one, because, yes, I admit that I should, was not focusing on how to play as the character. I was... I didn't really know I, what I was going to do with this, this series anyway, but let's get on with it, shall we? Look at that! HD graphics! Dang good, man. And we're playing on Towers of Doom. But again, Brandon Weigard, I thank you greatly for your criticism. It helps me... It, I like to think that a healthy dose of criticism helps me uh, fix up my chat a little more to make it better for everybody. Not just me. I'm doing what I want to do for my channel, but it's not. I can't improve it if nobody helps me. So once again, Brandon, uh, Brandon, yeah, Brandon, thank you so much. I wish I could have replied to your comment, but it was gone by the time I went to it. It was gone by the time I went to go see it. So, what to say about Diablo? He's a tanky character. Already explain kind of expl already explained how he functions thanks to that intro but he has a, a quite a few things you can do early on I didn't choose the skin for Diablo this time just because I want to show him off let's see um, you can go it's there's block soul feast devil's do which I might go with devil's do this time and overwhelming force the way um, I'll end up showing off how I play as Diablo in a little bit, so I'm gonna go with Devil's Do. Devil went down to George, he was for Soul Steel. So what I do with Diablo is his over... That is like one of the basic combos for Diablo right there. He's a durable character. He has the potential to come back from the grave very quickly. But where he shines is character positioning. Early on, of course, the tanks are terrible at their jobs, but a combination of overpower, which, as you saw, grabs a target and slams it behind Diablo, and Shadow Charge ends up giving great of power over where your enemies are going to be. Like that, I just launched him into the tower right there. Unfortunately for me, Greymane deals a lot, way too much damage that I could take care of on my own, but I was able, for, because it's AI, I was actually able to outlast it. I was actually able to outlast him this time. But he hits hard! Greymane hasn't gotten very many nerfs over, over the course of when he's been out. He's still a powerful character. But that's okay, because he's still killable. All the characters... There actually is not a single weak character in the game. In my opinion. The altars will be ours. I'll get you, Rhaegar. Come back here. I'll kill you. Yes. Send his 
servants to their grave. What to do now? There's demonic strength, which once the stun of overpower ends, the target gets slowed. There's soul catcher, which just means he generates souls passively. Fire devil, which I get a damage R every time I use fire stomp. And then there's essence of the slain. Which, as it implies, as characters die, I gain health and mana back. So I'm going to roam down to the bottom lane and start pushing. Well, maybe. We'll see. Where are they going? Okay. We'll push this one together. Um, let's see. For this one, I don't really have a preference. I actually haven't played as Diablo in a little while, so I'm... I'm a slightly rusty. So, I think I'll just go ahead and go with uh, Fire Devil. A worthy sacrifice. Looks like we're going to go through a team push here. Yeah, let's do it. I'm happy to say that I can play as any character in this game competently. Even Brightwing, which I still now feel very bad about how much I hated on, him. Hated on the character and the how to play as. But I'll come back to it. I'll fix it. I will fix it after I get through with all the other characters. If there was a little more range, Overpower should be able to grab a target behind the, the gate here. Should. They've kind of switched a few things where you can't get characters over barricades anymore like that. It's weird. It's queer! Okay. Get into my tower! You dead! We must claim them first. There's only one. Okay, so now we have Battle Momentum, which used to be a very powerful ability for all the characters. Uh, we have Soul Steel, which increases the health gain from the Black Soul Stone by 50%. Uh, from the Shadows, enemies not against unpathable locations are additionally stunned, so that one's pretty good. And then there's Devastating Charge. Now I make my escape. JK, I'm coming back for you. Come here, cupcake. Let's do from the shadows. Gotcha! Okay, now I make my escape. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Okay. So this time I'm going from the shadows. So every time I knock an enemy into an unpathable location is a wall like this right here. Well, you can't really see it. As it, as you can't see it, my mouse is turned off. We're going up top. Um, they'll be additionally stunned for 0.5 more seconds. So it's actually that's pretty good when you're trying to knock somebody out of the fight for a little longer. Now this is the interesting part. Nova, come here, cupcake. I see you. I know you, you can't hide from me. You're not that clever. Ooh, we're going for the horseman first, huh? Well, we're going to need some additional help for this one. But if you get the horseman, you get four pumpkin bombs to get launched at your opponent. So that's a good thing. I can't overpower giant targets like that. I can still shadow charge them, but then there won't be any knockback. I died for a good cause. And I'm back, bitches. Alright, let's go back up top. And thanks to that passive we picked up earlier, reduces Black Soul Stone's resurrection cost to 60, I'll now be able to kill more guys and get my resurrection back much more quickly. Now, 
which one do I want? Oh, they're both so good. We have Apocalypse. Create a demonic rune under each enemy hero on the battleground. After 1.756 seconds, the rune explodes, dealing 20, uh, 203 damage. And then we have Lightning Breath, a classic move from way back in the day. <coughs> I don't have enough soul stones. I need a few more soul stones to survive that. So, let's choose Apocalypse. Oh, did I get somebody? I don't know if I got somebody with that. I didn't see it. I didn't catch it. Drat. That would have been so cool if I got somebody with that. So you can either wait to... Right there. This is a death trap. That's what I was talking about. If you can get overpowered next to a gate, you can pull guys into your base and just annihilate them. It's a devastating, it's a deceptively powerful move. But Apocalypse, you can use, you can kind of, um, I don't really know how to use it per se. You could use it when you're going to initiate a team fight and they're all clustered together, which is pretty good. You can use it to mess with team plays. And that'll get them out of formation. Oh, I died. That's ah, okay. Nexus forces kill me. And thanks again, thanks to that passive, I'm back in the game immediately. That combined with Soul Catcher can make Diablo very difficult to keep out of the fight for very long. Because as soon as you kill him and he's got more than 60 souls, he'll come right back again after 5 seconds, was it? Yeah. After 5 seconds, he'll be like, What's up, Terror Feet? Terror Fools? I'm back. So, right there, that was a perfect use of Apocalypse. Sylvanas is a tough character to pin down because she has a teleporting ability and she can uh, disable like buildings. So that's that's actually pretty good. She has some very skillful abilities. Now with the help of help of Titus. We're able to take care of this easily. Come back here, Greymane! Ah, forget it. Let's go take care of this. Alright, now what am I gonna do? You can, uh, let's see, now we have Life Leech. Which is, off, which is often very good for tanks, as it'll keep you in the fight. Firestorm has the fireways return, dealing 125% of damage. A spell shield is always good. Since it, uh, it, upon taking ability damage, it reduces the damage and further ability damage by 50% for 3 seconds. And it stays on, so... And then you have Sipe in the Dead, where if you're, if you're feeling particularly greedy, I guess, you can activate this ability to uh, re heal 16% of maximum health. I don't usually go for that one. Not usually. So, let's see, which one do I want to do? Let's go Life Leech this time. So every time I smack somebody, I get health uh, health back, which is always good. It's always good to get your health back. After all, a healthy demon is a powerful demon. Well, that's no good. No good. No good. No good! Run for it! There's a fine line between being a powerful character and being a stupid character. Because even a tank can't last very long in a team fight, so. I have opened a tunnel near our core that leads to the battleground center. Oh, my heroes shall have this as well. 
<laughs> I love this guy! <laughs> I am Raven Lord! Oh, there's three of them. If we're fast enough, we can take an extra tower, and that'll at least be good for us. I'm pretty sure Nazebo has this one here. I'll take the damages! You cannot kill me! Sixteen! Oh, Greymate, come here, come here! Come to daddy! Come to me! You can also use, I, there's another example right there, you can also use Shadow Charge in reverse to ram your opponent and then overpower. I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice myself to help in this evo. Never mind, I did not have to sacrifice myself. Okay, let's see here. We have Rampage. Fire Stomp increase my movement speed by 20% and basic attack damage for 2 seconds. Uh, we have Continuous Overpower, which just means Overpower gets 2 charges instead of 1. Domination, where Overpower reduces the cooldown of Shadow Charge by 10 whole seconds. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. And Imposing Presence, another good one for tank characters. Where it slows down the attack speed of heroes and summons that attack me, and their attack speed is lowered by 41%. Always a good one. Let's go with Domination this time. I'll take the damages! Yeah! Although I should beat a hasty retreat now. So Rhonda's nice at healing, but she's not good enough at healing me. Not at the rate I'm going, anyway. I can still contribute, though, with Apocalypse. That's another cool thing about Apocalypse, too. Doesn't matter where you are on the battlefield, as the description says. You can be anywhere you want to be on the battleground and still contribute to a team fight if you can't make it. Ugh, pop my back. So I can be all the way over at my base. There can be a team fight right here, and I can activate Apocalypse and rain terror down from the battlefield. I know we have, but what are you? What time is it? I still got stuff to do here. It's 2.09. We're going to have to wrap this up. Oh, that was a good damage start. I can tank this. No, I can't. Run away! Run away! Oh! <laughs> we will! Fire! Hey, Sonya, come here. I'll take you with me! And now I'm back again! Hey, we took the keep anyway. I contributed! <laughs> kind of. Hmm, that's interesting. We'll look more into that as soon as we hit level 20. It shouldn't be too long now. We only need one more. Oh, wait, we can finish it right now. By taking this mercenary camp, we'll have won the game. This thing launches four, they only have three. Jonda, where are you going? I need your heals! I need your heals! Taronda, I'm not gonna make it! 
Never mind. I made it. I live. I'll go over in a second. I'll go over the many talents. To victory! I just said that! Job well done. Level 6! I got a mount variation and a hero portrait, finally. Next, I'll get a skin variation. Okay, now, the talent that I picked at the last second was Dying Breath. Apocalypse's cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds, and if you cast, your cast is free, or you die. So the minute you die, Apocalypse activates. And it doesn't matter if it's on cooldown or not, it'll still do it. Hellstorm, which is the upgrade to Lightning Breath, wherever, wherever it is. Where is it? Lightning Breath, where are you? Where? Okay. That's where you become unstoppable while channeling lightning that deals 800 damage over 4 seconds. The direction of lightning changes as I move my mouse cursor. Anyway, lightning breath essentially just lasts longer and reaches 50% further. Lord of Terror, aptly named, huh? Activate this to steal 10% of the maximum health of nearby enemy heroes. That's good if you're in a pinch and need some quick healing to save your life. Bolt of the Storm is just a, a blink ability, or you could just teleport to a nearby location. So anyway, that was Diablo. I finally got around to doing him. He looks so cool. Look at his badass attitude right here. Next, we'll be doing ETC, a hero that I am quite familiar with, and is the is basically the embodiment of Blizzard's uh, band, Elite Torrent Chieftain. I don't know what name they're right now, though, but it's Elite Torrent Chieftain. And I might just do a different skin. How about Glam? Glam Metal? What do you think? Glam Metal? Nah, maybe. We can go Pure Country? Nah, we'll find out in the next episode. So until then, guys, that has been a How to Play As. I'm once again to remind you, I'm going to be only continuing this series for a while. I just got a lot on my plate and I can't really deviate right now. And this, I feel like I'm on a roll. So until next time, everybody, we'll have a new Let's Play. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Until next time, have a good day.